Hi! Hi! Welcome to... What's the video? Oh, I'm so <laughs> 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 And today we are going to be having a discussion. Yeah, really good because we have. Well, yeah, the negative effects of social media. Yeah, the negativity that comes with social media. So we both proceed. Um, yeah. I'd like to I'd like you to click. Oh, sorry. Yeah, to click the subscribe button and um, also the notification bell to know whenever we upload new videos and follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. And don't yeah, forget. Sorry, thank, you. Mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, just on um, Instagram. Points. What's the handle on Instagram? They are not. It comes with a slide. The handle on Instagram is on ah. omcity underscore. Yeah. Underscore. Okay. Facebook is omcity. So we are proceeding to the video itself. Of the day. So today we'll be talking about uh, negative effects of social media. Okay. So yeah, we we know that social media comes with a lot of positive, negative, yeah. but today we decided to talk about negative effects. Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, we should be looking at cyber bullying. Wow. 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 Okay, yeah. Basically, we know that bullying... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> should, I, should I take it? Okay. So, um, cyber bullying, just like bullying, where you make people feel bad about themselves yeah. because of shit and everything, or you just want to make yourself look bigger and that kind of shit, so. Yeah, so some people too on social media, they do this annoying thing where they just say, or they, they give this um, a lot of slight comments and remarks and make you feel bad about yourself. And then you're just like, why me, why me, everything. So, social media is just like, just like, um, as this very negative whatever so people okay it goes as far as you know sometimes people would tend to like you know, create fake, fake profile with fake pictures and you know, try to you like point it <laughs> comment you on stuff yeah okay moving on to the next one we have um depression, depression and anxiety, anxiety. oftentimes we tend to like you know spend a whole lot of our time scrolling on like scrolling videos people's pictures and stuff forgetting the fact that nobody would eventually want to portray their the bad side of their life on social media yeah. so we tend to like compare the, the stuff we see on social media to our own life thereby making ourselves look less and these things can actually you know lead to depression some, and people, yeah and affecting your mood and, and you left to me i kind of feel Smart bullying leads to depression because when they make people by yourself, the next laugh of you is yeah. you get depressed. I'm just thinking about it. Yeah, that's not okay. So, okay, we are yeah. moving on to the next one. We have yeah. fear of missing out. We are addressing this one. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you know, I've actually seen a lot of people who wait for people's downfall on social media. Like, when anything happens, I always say, okay, what's going on? What's going on? They go to Twitter to see the highest trends, they go to Facebook to see who is getting dragged and everything. So those kind of things just really, it's just really, really annoying. There are a lot of things you could do with social media outside that. Not things that happen with people, like people's personal life is no one's business. It's the personal life. Only if it's on social media, just like comment and leave there. Not until you give this crazy annoying comment. Like recently, I watched a video where this drunk guy was, you know, just but running around shit and everything. So people were like just laughing and laughing. I was like, why are you laughing? It's just, it's very good to, you know, like advise the person and shit but when you now say bad things to the person it's just very very crazy you don't want to lose everything everything you want to know what's going on you want to know what it's not yeah. bad to yeah. want to know what's yeah. going on like okay following the news and things kind of really makes sense but once you start making it seem i don't want to use any crazy words not making it seem okay. so next one okay the next one um, is we have unrealistic expectations okay <laughs> this is where the, the this is where fake life comes in. You know, often that like we tend to like um, expect a lot of things. Like people, like I said earlier, people tend to 
show their good sides on social media. Like you said, you see a lot of um, supermodel pictures. Yeah, um, everyone on Instagram is blonde, thin, wearing nice dresses, and they're like, 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 oh my god, god. Like, they're dressing so nice and shit. And eventually, when you see them, oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> when you see them in real life, <laughs> so, so the unrealistic okay. expectations is one of the worst effects. And there's this funny thing that, that happens when you meet someone on social media. They're all, um, they act all like an extrovert and everything. They're always yeah. communicating yeah. and stuff and everything. Double life. Yeah, and behind that paper, they can be anything and they can be anybody. But when you meet them in reality, they're just like, Jesus and shit. Christ. So you be like, when you say hi, you be like, hi. That was stupid. So that is just it. Next. So, um, okay, but moving on to negative body image. Yeah, I kind of feel that happens a lot too. When you meet someone on social media, they use this crazy filter thing that just yeah. makes like, okay, like I, I saw a picture of a guy whose belly was, and then on his social media pages, he uses his abs um, app True. that makes him look like as if he has half and then he was like, oh, not knowing he is shit. And eventually, <laughs> when you see these people like, work. like now, okay, let's say for me, me for instance, when you see me reality, you know, like, so the next one. So next we'll have unhealthy sleep pattern. Banky do that. Okay. Banky does the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Leave me out of it. Okay, yeah. Uh, social media has affected our life to the extent that we sacrifice the time to sleep. Time that we to sleep. Media. Yeah. Like I, I think we are all faulty of this actually. Everybody. 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 Are you? Yes. Like I, I, I stay up to around one well, sometimes. Okay. To yeah, for me I, I stay up sometimes to two o'clock, three o'clock. And it's not good. It's not healthy for our health. At least for every average we're supposed to have about eight hours of food sleep. So now sleep and funny about me is that when I get kind of thing, I just wake up early in the morning, I have to run to work. I get to work, I start sleeping at work, so social media. So <laughs> yes. Okay, well moving on to one. the general addiction. Um, yeah, should I address that? Okay. <laughs> So it's I've really also shit comes in the So I've also okay. Let me put myself as an example. So or use myself rather. Okay. There, there was this time where I subscribed about three thousand era, and then it didn't last ten days. Oh, and I was like, oh, I'm being on blood risk. So I just checked. I was like, how did I spend almost about twenty gig in ten days? That thing is just like an addiction. Like. People don't can't even stay a day from away from social media and not feel so bad about it. Like they feel like you put out a part of them or something. And that is just so annoying. I have seen people who are like really, really hungry, but because they want to you know, like be online and everything, they spend their feeding fee to buy data. That is just a very bad addiction. That is even worse than smoking and drinking alcohol and using drugs and everything. So that is just so so crazy. So going okay. going for that and this general addiction. See, the addiction pool in long it's, it's way worse than like we might we might be seeing it as, as, as a normal thing. thing. Yeah, yes, technology is yeah. No, but, but then again, the addiction is so 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 crazy. Like see, we, was, we like we tend to like ex- spend more than we want to just yeah. because we just because we want to be like, on social media. Yeah, like so there are people that can't actually go a day without, without checking yeah. yeah social media, and that's why. Spend more, more, spend yeah. much, much, much time yeah. on social media. Spend money for data. Spend money to buy phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so should we move on to the solutions? Uh, uh, okay, yeah. The um, how to, to deal with this negative, negative effects. Okay. So first one, one, taking a break. Address that. Okay. The first step in stopping this. Or you know, trying yeah, to reduce yeah. negative effects. Try yeah. to give yourself a break. Like just try. Like one day of social media should just be enough. You know. If you're able to go one day without feeling too bad about the negative, then you should just feel yeah, yeah, this is yeah, making yeah, progress. Making progress so try to take a break. Like yes, that might when limit days. the time that you spend on social media. Like try to engage yourself with other things. Yeah. Probably. Okay, moving on to Developing alternative hobbies. Okay, so developing alternative hobbies. That's very, very true because when you want to stay on social media, you could just go into probably investing in stock marketing or 
taking a hobby probably as a, um, let's say getting a new skill or learning something online or probably singing or reading or writing any of these things could just okay. you can write you can read you can even go out go and do something learn keyboard go and learn keyboard <laughs> Okay, we're moving on to oh my god, tracking your social media app usage. You want to address that? Um, okay, tracking your social media app usage. Okay, yeah, um, like a lot of phones have um, this tracking, especially uh, first of all, example data usage, app, uh, data usage. Um, so, point, point, point. so once you can be once you once you're able to track your um, data usage, your app. Everything. Like, you get to know how much time you spend on social media, which can help like you reduce and everything. Because the more you spend, the more time you waste, the more you have to spend on the time again. So sell them. Okay, we're moving on to follow, follow light hearted social media content. Light hearted social media content. Light hearted social media content. Light is like following pets and following good things, things that are like influential to you, <laughs> like community. Try to follow <laughs> content with positive effects. Yes. No, they follow porn stars all <laughs> <and down. laughs> So okay. like when you follow like hearted hearted um, content on social media content, it's kind of you know gives you it doesn't you know bring this super curious on yeah. social media I want to follow the latest trend and that stuff. So we're moving on to following honest social media content. It's just a, the same thing as light as their context. Mm-hmm. See, yeah, try, to that, try to follow people that try to follow people that don't filter their <laughs> <laughs> try to follow people that don't filter their pictures and videos too much. It's yeah. not about filter and videos too. So about, when it comes to news, some people just hear one yeah. it's not going to make research and say, is this thing so true? We just carry, we post, Sita we tweet, we tweet, we tweet, we tweet, and it gets so annoying at the end of the day, people now look like, I think when I happened recently, my boss now told me that, okay, this is going on, but at the end of the day, it was not true, but then, people that are used to it, I just have to read, tweet it about because a million it, times, it's because a it's a trend, so people really need to work on that and everything, so, okay, yeah, the last one, the last, last one. one, ignore like. Ignore not like to follow us. Let me address this. So, okay. some people, when someone unfollows, let me say, okay, I'm sitting for it, for instance. I think about last week, I got 95 followers. I checked this morning, I saw 90 followers. I was like, okay, no problem. But for some people, once they see someone unfollowing, they start feeling what irrelevant. Is, what like, like is gone. Oh, someone Chuck. follow me, what did I do wrong? Uh, it doesn't really matter because these people are just people. Every, it's, it's their phone, it's their data, it's their choice to follow you or not. But for them, it's a channel the energy to that energy really basically define likes and comments mm-hmm. for what? Instagram or Facebook. <laughs> channel it into something else, yeah, and something better. You'll do great. So, thank you for sticking with us today, guys. Yeah, we really Stop appreciate it. Joking with your nerves, mm-hmm. Jesus. So, don't yes. forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow and like at Obesity and that's all. Yeah, thank you. So, thank you guys. Should we talk about our weekly obsessions or should we be like session? Next week, next. Weekly obsession? Do I have? Okay, I think my weekly obsession. Don't. Still remains my face. Come on. See, it's my face. I, like, seriously. I, I, oh I my god. Obsessed with anything that my face, like. Okay, Yo. so. Um, I've been obsessed with a song by the Irish Ford. I've been. I've, like, I listen to that song every 10 seconds. I listen to the every 10 okay. seconds. Okay. So we've come to the end of this video. See you next week Friday. <laughs> Why are you, Manuela? No. <laughs> so we're making a video after this one. Like, we're going to play again. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. see you in the next one. Bye. Just do goodbye.